Welcome to the Time Value Software Preview of T Value Online, the new web based version of T Value Software. In this video, we will look at the interface and functionality on the iPad tablet. Let's log in to T Value Online. To access the program, simply tap your finger in the address bar and type tvalueonline.com. When the Please Login dialog appears, enter your email, password, then tap the Login button to access T-Value Online, the web-based version of T-Value software. Before we begin our tour of T-Value Online, I want to show how the T-Value default settings can be set up. This time-saving feature comes in handy when performing repetitive calculations. This can be done by tapping on more on the far right of the icon toolbar. There are three options on the drop down menu that enable the user to customize the T value online default settings. The compute options, input setup, and event names options enable the user to customize and save the T value online default settings for use on any device. To learn the specific details on customizing the default settings, view the companion video. Setting up T-Value Online for use in your business. To demonstrate the functionality and capabilities of using T-Value Online, we will structure a common lease. Let's begin our tour by tapping in the compounding field. On a mobile device, the drop-down menus you are familiar with have been replaced by keyboards on a tablet and spinner menus on an iPhone. The keyboards and spinner menus have been designed to contain all of the options available on the drop-down menus found in the desktop version of T-Value software. On this keyboard you can see the 13 available compounding options. When the next button is tapped, a lease, loan or investment will be structured by advancing through the program in the proper order. Notice that when the next button was tapped, the cursor progressed to the rate field and a numeric keyboard is displayed for entering the interest rate. Once the interest rate has been entered, tap on the next button. In the label field, you can type the name of the schedule. Note that a different keyboard is now displayed, which enables the user to accomplish the task at hand. By tapping on the double arrows to the right of the label field, additional information can be entered and displayed on the amortization schedule. Once again, tap next to advance to the next field. In the event field on line 1, choose one of the event options displayed on the keyboard. As we continue, to advance through the fields of the cash flow matrix by tapping next, notice that the keyboard that appears is designed to allow the user to enter all the required information. Let's pause for a moment in the amount field. Notice that the keyboard enables the user to enter a number, an unknown value, a multiple of the number entered in the amount field, or to enter a weighted unknown value. Tap next to continue building the schedule. Once the schedule has been assembled. And the unknown value calculated. You can view the amortization schedule by tapping on the amortization button. There are several features that allow you to customize the amortization schedule by tapping the include icon. You can select the information you would like displayed on the schedule. Another tool for customizing the amortization schedule can be found by tapping the format icon. The format dialog will allow you to adjust the layout, headers and footers, and to choose different fonts. You also have the ability to display a PDF. And print the schedule to a wireless printer. You can also email a PDF document of the amortization schedule. Additionally, you can generate a schedule with only a specific date range displayed. Along with the ability to determine the fiscal year end on the schedule. There are several additional features I would like to show you before we conclude. By tapping on the special series field 
on line 1. The points and fees dialog will appear, where you can add any points, prepaid interest, or other fees associated with a loan that could affect the annual percentage rate, or APR. By tapping on the Special Series field on line 2, you can access the Special Series dialog. The Special Series dialog contains all of the creative finance tools that are greatly valued in T-Value software. Lastly, by tapping the Document button, a drop-down menu will appear that contains the options to save, as well as open a document that has been saved to your T-Value online account. To save this schedule, tap Save the T-Value online account from the Document drop-down menu. When the Save T-Value document to T-Value online account dialog appears, you can select the location or folder where the schedule will be saved. You can rename the folders, add new folders, along with the ability to save or delete T-Value schedule. To save a schedule, just type the name of the document that you want to save. Then tap the Save button, and the schedule will be saved in your account folder. This concludes this video on the functionality of T-Value online on a tablet. If you have any questions, or if you would like a 30-day free trial of T-Value Online, call us at 1-800-426-4741, or email us at jrobots at timevalue.com.